If you're after a simple way of how to reorder your posts, your products, your custom post types, and even your pages, then you're in the right place. And what I do here is going to be applicable to your loop grid as well. Let me show you how. To make this all work, you are going to need a free code snippet. Go and click the link in the video description. You'll go and get the code. Go and use the code snippets plugin that you can get for free from the WordPress repository. Go and install and activate it and go and get that code, copy it, add new snippet, paste it in, save changes and then activate. Now, this is a code snippet. This is not a plugin. I will not be modifying this any more than what I'm going to share with you today. But if you want to tinker with it, be my guest. And if you want to hire me to work on it furthermore, then please get in touch. Now, let me show you the magic this does. I've got a loop grid on this page and it's currently looking up posts. And if we go down the query, it's currently in date descending order. But what if you don't want to do that? What if you want to have a particular audio? So maybe post number four needs to be at the start and then you'll have post nine, eight, seven or something like that. Now you could, if you want, go over to your posts, go to where you have post four, go to quick edit and you could mess around with the date and the time. And what that would then do is rearrange it. Because if you go back to your loop grid and you go to the query tab, and this may change depending on what page builder you're using, but the logic and the process is kind of the same. If you've got it in date descending order or ascending order, it will then show it in that particular order. And you do have some other options as well. What we're going to do, though, is use the menu order. Now, even if I select that, nothing will change because the menu order is currently set to be in this particular order. But that code snippet that you went and activated now gives you a new column called order over here. You can see it on the right hand side and you also get a button at the top there called toggle reorder. When you click that, you will now have the ability to reorder your items and you can do this on your posts, your custom post type, your products and even your pages. Why would you want to do it on your pages? Stay with me on this, OK? So first, let's do it to the posts. I'm going to click it. And when you click it, it goes green to let you know it is now activated. And when you move your mouse over the title, and please bear this in mind, it is when you're over the title. If you go anywhere else, you're not going to get this crosshair cursor. So you can see it over there. So I'm now going to go over to post number four and I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to move it and drop it above post number one. Can you see what it's done there? Post four. Uh, post one, post two, post three, and then I'm going to pick up post number seven. And you know what? I'm going to put it below post number one. So I've now rearranged the order. Now, when you look over here, it says 4172. Don't worry about that. Just go and untoggle it and refresh this page. Post four is now order item number one. Post one is now order item number two. Can you see what we've done here? And then we got seven and then we got two. Now, of course, what if you've got loads of pages? Say you've got 500 posts and you now want to rearrange all of them into a particular order. My recommendation is you go to screen options, go and change this to be 999 because that's the absolute maximum you can do on this and then go and hit apply. And if you've got 999 posts, you're going to see all of them and then you can go and rearrange them. I mean, it will probably take you a while if you're going to rearrange 999, but you get the idea. So staying on this where we've got post 4172 and then we have all the other ones following on. Let's go back over to the loop grid and where we have the query tab, I'm going to change this to be menu order and I'm going to go for ascending and you should now see post 41723. It's following the order. And when I go to preview, you're going to see it is there as well. We have just manipulated the order by dragging and dropping without having to mess around with the dates. And what's even cooler about this is that if you did want to have it in the actual date order that you wrote them, you click date, it will do it. You go and click title, it will reorder them in whatever order you want. But anytime you want to put them back into the menu order, you just go and click menu order and there you go. And if we go over to a custom post type and this is using the ACF plugin, but this will work regardless of what solution you're using. I'm going to go to poster. That's my custom post type. I'm going to hit toggle reorder and I'm going to pick or poster number five and I'm going to put it between poster one and two. 
I'm just going to take this off, refresh the page. You can now see that poster five is now order item number two. Let's go to the loop grid. I'm going to change my source to be posters and you should see poster one, poster five and poster two because it's in the menu order. Of course, if you did descending, it would flip the other way. And when we go to products, the order column is there. So I'm going to now hit toggle reorder and I'm going to pick up uh, this item over here called B and I'm now going to put it after A. So A, B, A1, we're going to take this off. I'm just going to hit refresh. You don't have to hit refresh. I mean, when you come back into it, it will have reordered anyway. And if I change this to now be products, you're going to see A, B, A1, A, and then all the other ones follow on. Now, I did mention that this applies to pages as well. Look, the order column is there. This is how simple this is. You drop that code, snip it in. Look, if you don't like the green button, go and visit the snippet and you can change the color within there. The style the styling options are there for you. Now, why would you want to do the pages? Let's just say you've got loads of pages, right? And this particular page over here picks is my home page. How many of you have been in that scenario where you've got maybe like 60 pages? Believe me, I've worked on some websites where they've got hundreds and it does do your head in. And the home page had a particular name and it's like on, say, you know, you got to go to like page four of the pagination to get to it or whatever. Or you could do a search for it. But what if you can't remember what it's called? Or even when you search for it, 25 of the pages come up because they all have similar names. If I was to go now and do toggle reorder and I go to this page, which is picks. Remember, you got to hover over the actual title. I'm going to pick it up and pop it right at the top. So my home page is now right at the top. I'm going to refresh this and it will be now order number one. You can log out, purge your site, purge your server all day long, right? All week long, all year long. Every time you log back in now, that page will be at the top. It won't change until you go and reorder by title or date or anything like that. But don't worry, just go and click order and it is now at the top. This makes it quicker and easier. So maybe there are particular key pages and you always want to keep them in order. Don't forget, though, this does not mess around with your WordPress menu. If you set your menu up to look a certain way, you know, in appearance menu, that stays the same. It's not going to tinker with any of that. It's not going to break the child parent relationship with sub pages or anything at all. But if you decide you want to have like a, your home page, your about page, your services page and your contact page, or particular key pages at the top to make it easier for you or someone else who's administrat administrating or managing your website, this could be really good for you. It's a free code snippet, okay? Uh, if you want to say thanks, please do. If you want to share it, use the share button below the YouTube video. Do not use the direct URL at the very top. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'm Imran from Web Squadron. See you soon.